Here's my two leather teeth. Don't be running. Have you ever ran a relay four by one? That's what we are. It's a we. Fuel cost right now is $8.25 per gallon. People have to take charge of making sure the uh, fuel is in the diesel. If uh, somebody not maintaining it, it will cut itself off and then got to refuel it. Try not to have power in the uh, winter time when it's negative 20 to uh, 40 BI low. On average, Alaska has the second highest cost for energy in the entire United States, second only to Hawaii. We have been an oil and gas state for many decades, but what that actually means is that we're an energy state. It means that we've already been investing in systems that are actually the leading edge of technology. Today in Shugnack, this is the best example of that. I think we, uh, we probably burn 150,000 gallons of diesel fuel a year there. Periodically, we don't get barge service. We have to fly the fuel that we use to generate electricity into the community. And when we have to do that, it raises the price uh, tremendously for us to generate power and for people to buy electricity. The battery system used in Shangnak is by Blue Planet. This is a game changer for AVEC. We haven't had energy storage on any of our community plants before. Now, we have the ability to store energy when the sun's out and use it again later when it's down or the cloud comes by. We've certainly been uh, hesitant to jump into the energy storage for uh, a number of reasons. The battery technology is, I think, probably the best chemistry or technology that's available for rural communities at this point. So this is uh, our first time that we're actually taking a, a project in Alaska, creating a microgrid using solar and storage to replace that diesel. To be able to, to positively affect uh, remote locations, that's gold. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. People know when the uh, generators go off, no power. But now we are gonna have, have to train our brain to like, okay, they're, they're off. And we still got lights. We still got power. So wow, what? This is like a uh, new world. Our larger utilities, both in Alaska and the lower 48, are looking to communities like Shugnack, who are learning the hard lessons, but are able to teach them what it looks like to operate a system on 100% clean energy. That's not just 100% clean energy for Alaska, but that's 100% clean energy for the world. And Shugnack, Alaska is leading the resource revolution.